right, so just doing a little walkthrough. Trackhawk. I don't know if anybody have view. I don't know if anybody have view. Anybody have view. All right, let's start over. <laughs> let's do a quick walkthrough. So this is the Trackhawk. I don't know if you guys have had uh, any time behind the wheel in this thing. It's extremely fun. You know, you ride around the neighborhood. Your neighbors are like, oh, what a nice person. He's got a Jeep Grand Cherokee. But then you have the Trackhawk. You start it up and they hate you. So this is getting anarchy wheels. Um, let's go check out what it looks like. I haven't seen it yet. That looks very safe. Very safe. So these are going to be anarchy AN10s. Lightweight monoblock wheels, as you can see. I'll try to go slow. Gloss black finish. So this is going to be a little bit more of an OEM plus look. You know, nothing too radical. Just keep it very tame. You know, to keep thinking your neighbors are, so your neighbors could still think that you're, you know, a civilized human being. Nothing too crazy here. Watch, watch the the money maker here. I can't, I can't mess up the money maker. Put my fingers like that, right? You got it. All right. So what you're gonna do is just hold the tire up very lightly. Okay. To the rim. That's okay. Do you have earplugs? No. no. Okay. What I do is I close Can my I? Eyes. Yeah, I close my eyes. Yeah. Ready? All right. Go. Yeah, pick up the tire right there, nice and snug. Ready? Yep. yep. Okay. All right. Let's go. This is not safe. It's not safe. Can we do the flame trick? No? Man, I'm hungry. I'm going to hold it hot. Try not to put your fingers too far in. They try to hold the edges, yeah. You ready? Go. Pick up on this side, like this. Alright, don't pull too hard either. Alright, right there you go. Yep. You got this side? Yep. Yeah, there one. you go. My first cheetah run. That's the bad boy cheetah. Stunning wheel. That's the only word I have for it to describe it. This is an Anarchy RS1 from their Retro Series. As you can see, you've got the step lip. It's a three-piece wheel. If you get in real close again here, you can actually see that the center face grabs the flange. And you see the little purple shining there. Before this wheel, I had never seen anything do that. So it's a really, really unique design that Anarchy is, is pushing. They're really pushing the envelope in regards to what you can do with wheels. This center face is another pushing the boundary element of the wheel. So this is brushed black with a satin clear coat on top. So basically the center comes out of machining and you have John, the director of operations for Anarchy Wheels, being a doofus, <laughs> ruining the video. But going back to the finish, got brushed black with a satin clear coat on top. So the center face comes out of machining, they hand brush it, it gives you these very nice strokes and makes the finish dynamic depending on the lighting that's hitting it. And then they do a really dark tint on it, really, really dark, which gives you that brushed black portion of it. And then they finalize it with a satin clear coat on top so that it doesn't pop too much. And so this outer lip, as you can see, the polished purple, this looks stunning, man. This is the part that makes me love the wheel so much. You gotta be a really, really, really ballsy person to rock that. Um, I can see it going awesome on a probably a Huracan, uh, a Huracan that's like white or a Huracan that's black where the, the color of the car is actually um, allows the wheel to pop. Um, actually, I think the black would work well because of the center face here. So you even see the assembly bolts that hold the pieces of the wheel together in polished purple as well. I mean, all in all, this is a perfect wheel. Even the inner barrel is gloss black to help with the, with the brake dust that you might get for, for cars that don't have carbon ceramic brakes. Um, 
it's an unbelievable wheel. I love what they're doing because they're going back to the style uh, back of the you know the 80s and 90s where people would like a a flattish face. I would say flattish because it still has some concavity, but a flat face and a lot of lip on on the on the wheel. And so with cars that are coming out these days where you can run 12 inch wide, 13 inch wide, like the 600 LT, you start getting a lot of room to have these big lips. And so I love this Anarchy RS1. And since we're talking about uh, some wheels that are in the HRE family, actually that's a private label for HRE, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, new Flowform wheels from HRE. So it's going to be this bad boy, and it's going to be this bad boy. So the FF10s and FF11s, the reason why I love these HRE Flowform wheels is because it allows a customer to get their foot in the HRE door in regards to the pricing of these wheels. So these are Flowform wheels. You actually, it's a, it's a much more affordable way to manufacture the wheel. And so these sets usually start at about uh, $2,300 per wheel for 18s. And then it works its way up to about the $3,000 range for the set when you get to the bigger sizes like 20, 21, things like that. Um, but if you look at this wheel, another, another advantage of it is how light it is. So you're not sacrificing any weight whatsoever um, going on the, on the lower end in regards to the price. And it has, it's killer. I mean, I know a lot of people are gravitating towards this wheel. <clears throat> and it really is just personal preference on what you like for style. Um, my personal preference, I think this is stunning. It reminds me a lot of the P101, which is HRE's iconic wheel. This one is a, is a really, really uh, cool mesh style. It's, you gotta have a, an aggressive car, like maybe an M3 to, to rock it. Uh, I think it works very well with those. but. That's why I love HRE, man. They think outside the box. They understand that not everybody wants to be at uh, the price range for some of these other wheels. And so they give the opportunity to a wider range of an audience to be able to get into the brand. I realized that uh, I did the video with this pole here. Why is this pole even here? What is this? We don't even have a pole here. Um, but we're going to roll with it because that was a, a flawless execution on my part. Tuning my own horn. There you have it guys, another completed project. The Trackhawk with the Anarchy wheels, the upgraded supercharger kit, so now it's putting out a thousand horsepower, and you just heard it, the Meister shaft exhaust. Sounds crazy. I love driving this thing. I didn't even think I would, but when you're riding around town down here in Coconut Grove, Coral Gables, it sounds uh, it sounds pretty crazy. Everybody looks at you. So just want to thank everybody for, uh, for watching the video. Uh, subscribe, hit the like button, leave us a comment, let us know what you want to see. Uh, we appreciate all the support. More support from you guys, and we'll continue doing videos like this. So um, have fun and see you on the next one.